Today's encouraging word comes out of the book of Luke, chapter 8, verses 19 through 21. A really nice, succinct piece of scripture that uh, is easy to translate, easy to understand, and sure to encourage those that are living for the Lord. Okay, so uh, here you have in chapter 8, you have uh, the parable of the sower, uh, and that's how uh, putting some seed on some rock doesn't work, but putting it on other ground will bear fruit a hundredfold and uh, so forth. And and Jesus goes on to explain that um, some people will understand the gospel and the devil will come along and take away the word out of their hearts because uh, the devil doesn't want them to believe or be saved. Uh, then, you know, goes on to say there are others that are, that are, uh, there for a while, which believe, and then in time of temptation fall away. Does this sound familiar? It sure does to me, like many Christians we see today. And then there's others that get into uh, thorns and get choked with the cares and riches and pleasures of this life. That, that'll preach. That's the message right there. And as we go on here, uh, Jesus starts speaking of the good ground and they, they, which are honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. That's verse 15, Luke 8, 15. Um, and so here we are in verse 19, Jesus describes his true family. Uh, verse 19, then came to him his mother and his brethren and could not come at him for the press. And it was told him by certain, which said, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to see thee. And he answered and said unto them, my mother, and my brethren are these which hear the word of God and do it. So Jesus is so sworn by people that his own mother and his his brothers or his relatives, because brethren could have been a little bit looser interpretation, but his his mother and his relatives can't get to him physically. And and, uh, if they could get to him, uh, maybe they'd want to talk to him in private or take him away from the crowd or so forth. And so there's this moment here in Luke 8, where Jesus is confronted with this thing where do you just stop everything and go talk to your relatives or do you keep doing what you're doing? And what was Jesus doing? Well, he was going from every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the tidings of the kingdom of God. And the disciples were with him. That's uh, verse, uh, excuse me, uh, chapter eight, verse one. So we know that he's preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. The family wants to talk to him, and he, his response here in Luke eight twenty one. and he answered and said unto them, My mother and my brethren are these which hear the word of God and do it. What does that mean? The fleshly relatives are different than Christ-centered relatives, those that are following uh, the will of the Lord, those that are brothers and sisters of Christ. So it says here just two important parts. My mother and brethren are these which hear the word of God. That's number one, those that hear the word of God. And number two, those that do it, right? So to hear the word of God, we understand that uh, that to be saved, uh, uh, it comes from the hearing of the word of God. So we need to be saved. So to be brothers and sisters in Christ, we need to be saved. We need to have salvation. Once we have salvation, then we need to hear the word of God uh, by reading the scriptures and studying it and so forth, and then doing uh, the word and the will of God. And so this is just a beautiful, encouraging passage of scripture. Uh, you know, how do you please God? How do you get close to Jesus? You hear his word and you do it. That's it. It's not complicated. It's not rocket science. It doesn't take a dissertation. This, this, uh, will be one of the shorter messages we, we have here because it's encouraging to know the Lord wants us to hear his word and do it. And that's what draws us close to him. So how do you get close to God? How do you get close to the creator of the universe, the the entity, the almighty being that created the tree that you see out the window, that created the feet that you have to stand on the floor, that created the food that's on your table and the plants that, 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 that grew the food and the animals and so forth, the creator of everything. How do you get close to that individual? How do you get close to him? By hearing the word of God and doing it. And that's it. And anyone can do that through messages like this, through reading the Bible, through uh, going online on YouTube and so forth and listening to preaching by going to church and being in the church house every time the doors open and just being absolutely obsessed with getting into the Lord's house and doing the Lord's will. As long as the Bible believe in church, uh, that's going to make it a lot um, more profitable for you. Um, Because again, we're in the word and we're doing it. And by doing that and by living like that, here it is in Luke eight, 
crystal clear, so easy to understand. I'll read it again. Then came to him his came to him his mother and his brethren and could not come at him for the press. And it was told by certain which said that thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to see thee. And he answered and said unto them, my mother, my brethren are these which hear the word of God and do it. We are the brothers and sisters in Christ because we hear the word and we do it. So if you are hearing the word and you are living it and it's your entire life and it's your lifestyle, then this is a big pat on the back, a big encouragement to know that that you are getting close to God and that God is loving what you're doing because it is the will of God. And if you're not, if you're backsliding, if you're doing things, you know, you know, your pet sins, I don't know them, but you do the things that you do, you know, the reasons why you may not come to church, the reasons why you may not want to read your Bible, the reasons why you may not agree with the preaching or whatever it is, you know, you know, and, and, and this right here is a subtle correction, a very simple correction that says, look, here's how to get close to God. It's it. It's that simple. Man, I hope it's an encouragement to you. It really has been to me. And uh, let's just keep staying in his word, keep plowing the field, keep after it. And uh, the Lord's going to get closer and closer to us uh, until he comes back. And I hope it's encouragement. I'll send you another one tomorrow. Take care.